Hello. In this video, I'm going to take the internal compact flash card from my Amiga A1200 and I'm going to back it up onto my MacBook Pro and we're going to need a compact flash card reader and we're going to use the terminal under Mac OS to do this. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Right, so here we are on my MacBook Pro and what I'm going to do is take my Amiga's internal compact flash card and pop it in the compact flash card reader and hopefully, right, so this is really important, you're going to get this message. The disk you inserted was not readable by this computer. So what you need to do here is click on ignore. Uh, no point ejecting it because we want to back it up. Don't ever Never press initialize because it will just wipe the card and you'll lose all your data. So we'll click ignore. That's the first thing you need to do. Good. Now what we're going to do is take that compact flash card and back it up onto an external hard drive here because I've only got a teeny tiny internal hard drive on my MacBook Pro. Um, so uh, before we do that though, let's have a look at what drives I do have connected. So I've got my hard drive, I've got my time machine drive, and I've got this partition on here called No Fixed Abode, and that's where we're gonna back it up to. Please note, in the drives showing up on the machine, this is not showing up at all. The compact flash card does not show up on there. So what we've gotta do is uh, use terminal to get us to this card and start backing it up. So Right, so the command we actually want to see all the drives is cd slash uh, volumes and that ls. So this shows me all the drives that are on here. So what I'm going to do first is navigate through to my partition uh, no fixed abode. So cd no fixed abode. Uh, then I've got, if I list on here, I need to go to Amiga cd amiga and in here i've got my compact flash card backup directory so i'm going to go to cd uh, cf backups let's listen see what's in there uh, so i've got original disk image i've got external compact flash and backups of internal compact flash so i need to go to cd backup of internal flash of compact flashcards that's fine so let's have a quick look in here and i've got a 16 gig folder and a 4 gig folder so i know this is the 16 gig folder so i'm going in there and let's list and these are all the backups that i've got um to date really and so i've been quite naughty and haven't actually backed anything up since december last year so um right next step is to now get terminal to see the compact flashcard Right, so I just want to double check to make sure I'm in the right directory. So we'll do PWD for present working directory. And there I am. I'm in my 16 gig backup folder. That's fine. Now I need to get the Mac <coughs> to see that 16 gig card so we can start the backup process. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, the first thing I need to do is type disk util list. And this will list all the drives which are connected to this MacBook Pro. Now, I know I've got a 16 gig card, so I'm looking for a drive which is about 16 gig in size. And sure enough, it's the one right at the bottom, uh, which is the external disk, physical device, and the identifier is disk four. So this is really important. So you need to remember disk four is the one that we need to back up. So with that done, uh, I now need to issue a command to start that backup process. And the command is sudo, uh, dd if which is input file uh, equals slash dev slash r disk 4 that's where your disk 4 comes in um, and then we go space then of which is stands for output file so this will be the name of the backup file we are creating equals so I'm going to call this org 22 backup dot hdf 
um, and then it's BS equals 8M. We finish off with. Right, so what's going on here? So we're telling it to read from disk 4. So input file, disk 4, and OF is our output file. We give it a name and we're ready to go. So what this is saying is take data off of your 16 gig card, which is disk 4, and output it to this file name, which we've called org22backup.hdf. Um, and we're good to go. So this is going to save this backup in the directory which we've you know, navigated to previously. If you don't specify a directory, it will just put it in the root of your user folder under Mac OS. So without further ado, let's hit return and get this party started. So we need a password, which we'll enter now. Password entered, and off it goes. So nothing will show on the screen. Um, terminal will just sit here, kind of looking like it's doing nothing but it is actually doing a backup and we need to leave it. So your mileage will differ here based on the size of the card you're backing up, uh, also the speed of your machine. So I've had anything between four minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, it depends. So just leave it to do its thing and we'll come back in a while and see how we've got on. Brilliant. Right, and it's done. Uh, there we go. Number of records in, number of records out, number of bytes transferred in 242 seconds. So what's that in pounds and pence? So let's have a look. Uh, 242 seconds. So in our trusty calculator, 242. So if we divide that by 60, that's taken about four minutes to transfer that, which is is good. Uh, but you may say, has it actually transferred it? Well, yes, it has. So if I go through Finder, look at my 16 gig folder, and there's my Amiga, oh no, it isn't, August 22 backup HDF. Click on that, look at that, 16 gig, created today, modified, so that has taken four minutes. There it is, an HDF file. Uh, for some reason, Mac OS has decided to put a Spectrum logo on that. Um, but let's not worry about it. it. We know it's there and it's all done. So that is great news. Uh, job done. So of course now we have that backup uh, on there. We can use that backup. Um, we can use it with FS UAE. Uh, we can also use that backup and write it out to another compact flash card uh, if we wanted to duplicate our internal compact flash uh, to another card that's easily done. I may cover that in another video, but for now this was just about the backups and the backup has done. Really happy with that. Good news. Finally, before I end this video, I just wanted to say that I did this as a, an article for issue 11 of Amiga Addict and uh, turning to page 55, how to clone an internal CF hard drive there it all is there, all written out for you in that copy of Amiga Addict, so you can find it there. You can also find it on my website, which I will link in the notes down below. So next thing to do is to put this card back into my Amiga and count that as a successful job done. All good news, Brilliant. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video.